Hello friends and welcome to a brand new camera comparison between the iPhone 15 Plus against the Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus. Right now we are recording at 4K at 30 frames per second. Tell me in the comment section below which one do you think has better colors and which one has a better audio. As it is standard in this channel let's begin with some samples taken with their front cameras. As we look at these pictures we can clearly see that they both took different approaches. Even though my face is very detailed on both devices to my eyes the iPhone is doing a better job with my skin color but I prefer more the picture of the Galaxy. On the next sample we have a different situation. My face is now brighter on the iPhone and even my hair is well defined. The S23 Plus now represents my skin color better but the overall picture look better on the iPhone. The Galaxy on the other hand is better with the sky since on the iPhone some parts of it are overexposed. Switching to the main cameras and let me just clarify the testing process. Every daylight picture is taken in auto mode without adjusting any of the settings. Straight out of the box the iPhone takes pictures at 24 megapixels while the Galaxy at 12 megapixels so in paper the iPhone should be better. In my testing the Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus did a better job in most cases with the darker areas and with the greenery. Here for example the tree is brighter and more visible compared to the iPhone 15 Plus which is more natural but the picture is darker. The S23 Plus is also slightly more vibrant but the iPhone has warmer colors and honestly both implementations are great. Everyone's taste is different and there are no rights or wrongs here. In tougher situations such as this one at first glance the Galaxy is brighter than the iPhone but the latter is doing so much better with the lights of the sun. On the S23 Plus the reflections are all over the frame which makes its picture not as good as the iPhone's. The iPhone 15 Plus constantly produces natural shots while the S23 Plus is always brighter and its colors are lively. In these situations I prefer the Galaxy but in cases such as the previous one the iPhone was better. This is why it is called a camera comparison. When using their ultra-wide cameras both phones keep the same colors of their main cameras. This is great because it shows consistency between lenses. As for their differences the S23 Plus looks perfect with all the greenery being on point and with the sky being very vibrant. With Smart HDR5 the iPhone seems to have fixed the overexposing of the sky that was especially noticeable with the ultra-wide lens. The iPhone 15 Plus changes the results on the next scene by offering a more pleasing color tone that matches the scene. Its warmer colors are also different from the S23 and in this specific sample the iPhone looks better. If you are the type of person that likes its pictures to be saturated then the S23 Plus should be your choice but if you prefer the pictures to be more on the natural side then the iPhone is for you. Personally I am in between and my preferences go based on the scenes. The iPhone 15 Plus however seems to adapt well and in occasions such as this one offers vibrant pictures even exceeding the Galaxy but overall for the most part the S23 Plus is more vibrant. The Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus has also a dedicated 3x telephoto sensor while the iPhone 15 Plus relies only on digital zoom. In cases where the objects that are close honestly even the iPhone keeps up really good. The Galaxy is sharper but the iPhone isn't bad at all. With objects that are further away we can notice that the iPhone is starting to lose territory and even though digital zoom on the 15 Plus is really good and improved to its predecessor, I still believe that having a dedicated telephoto sensor is a much better solution. With portraits however it is a totally different story and here I prefer how the iPhone does the processing. On the Galaxy my jeans are almost entirely black while on the iPhone my jeans are perfectly visible. When cropping in at my face the iPhone is doing better with the details and even my skin color is better handled. On the S23 plus my face is too saturated which I really don't like. If I only had the Galaxy I would have been happy with its results but when I compare it with the iPhone then the latter is better. When recording with their main cameras we can clearly see that the iPhone 15 plus is better. Its colors are natural and everything is on point while the Galaxy did overexpose the highlights resulting in a less pleasing video. 
I didn't record at 8K on the S23 Plus because it lacks stabilization and it would make the iPhone even better than what it already is. Even when recording with their ultra-wide camera the iPhone is better. The S23 Plus is also really good on its own and when it comes to Android phones it is already one of the best, but when we compare it with the iPhone 15 Plus it doesn't seem as refined. The iPhone is just amazing from the ground up to the sky colors. Surprisingly even when recording at 3x zoom the iPhone is almost just as good as the S23 Plus if not identical. Apple claims that the new main camera can zoom in at 2x without losing details but in my testing at least for video even at 3x it is really good. Moving to low light and from now on every picture is taken with night mode enabled. When looking at these samples we see that they couldn't be more different. The iPhone picture has a warmer tone but the picture isn't as sharp while on the Galaxy my face is very detailed. I prefer here the Galaxy. On the next sample for me the iPhone makes a comeback and even though my face isn't particularly that sharp the picture overall looks more natural instead of the very cool tone of the S23 Plus. This time I prefer the iPhone 15 Plus. The big differences in color and processing continue even with the main cameras. Here we can see that the S23 Plus is very bright and the picture has plenty of colors. The iPhone on the other hand is darker but the picture is just as pleasing nonetheless. From what I have noticed, the iPhone is actually sharper in most cases. The Galaxy however does a fantastic job with street lights. Both phones have their own strengths and weaknesses you just have to prioritize what you prefer. The S23 Plus in my opinion is a great device to have if you take pictures and scenes with plenty of colors and light sources since it enhances them and makes the pictures extremely likable. The iPhone mostly takes a different approach with toned down colors. On the Galaxy sometimes it can backfire like here where the tree is quite messy despite being brighter. The same tree on the iPhone is very detailed and even though the ones on the background aren't as visible the one on the front is sharp. Even when using the ultra-wide cameras they continue to show the same results with the S23 Plus being brighter and more vibrant and with the 15 Plus being sharp and detailed. Without wanting to repeat the same words let me just remind you that the S23 Plus does a much better job with street or lights that are on buildings while the iPhone doesn't do that good of a job. While the light reflections on the iPhone are a bit better compared to previous years, I was kind of expecting more but besides those small details the iPhone seems to be very good nonetheless. When light sources aren't as present the iPhone is even better than the S23 Plus like here for example where the picture is very sharp and the night scenery is perfectly presented. The Galaxy continues to be brighter but personally I don't like it as much as the iPhone. At 3x the story changes with the S23 Plus producing a sharp picture with plenty of details and with the iPhone being not as good. While on daylight the iPhone was close, in low light it can't really compete with optical zoom despite the fact that the iPhone 15 Plus is better than its predecessor. When it comes to portraits just like during the day the iPhone 15 Plus is much better. Its picture has a cooler tone compared to the warm and saturated colors of the S23 Plus. I do also like how the iPhone has retained most of my facial details while the Galaxy made my face too soft. So what are your thoughts? Which one is your winner? For me it is a close call since both have their strengths and weakness. The iPhone is better in many cases like with videos and portraits but the Galaxy still remains my favorite choice when it comes to zoom. For selfies, wide and ultra-wide picture both are similar and results changed from scene to scene. If you did enjoy this video a thumb up would be appreciated.